Hi folks, Bryony Thomas here for day nine of ten um, of love and lessons from a decade of entrepreneurial learning. And today I want to talk to you about my life as a business tortoise um, and I am opening up a fabulous gift to make some very small steps with us over a year. So I um, had a, fast, a really funny experience recently where I'd um, gone in to uh, uh, gone in to do a workshop. It was about 20 entrepreneurs and someone came up to me afterwards and she said, my goodness, you are an incredible overnight success. I, I'd never seen you anywhere. And then suddenly you're everywhere, um, which I thought was hilarious because um, clearly I've been doing this <laughs> for 10 years. <laughs> so uh, in my 10th year I am uh, for this for this individual um, I appeared to be a phenomenal overnight success and this is my point about being um, a bit of a tortoise uh, so this is the the kind of tortoise and the hare analogy essentially that um, slow steady steps often get you there and often the things that I've done slowly and the things that I've done with smaller steps um, have been the best things I've done and the things that have taken me longer than I thought um, have been better for it um, and so I, um, I I'll give you a few examples so I, and often I'm asked you know how, how are things going is everything on plan it's like entrepreneurial when I uh, hang out with my entrepreneur buddies these are the things they ask me and I'll say yeah everything every, everything that was on my business plan we've kind of hit um, but maybe two years later than I'd hoped um, and I think this is a combination of entrepreneurial frustration. So I said that entrepreneurs almost live in a, in a perpetual state of frustration because we can always see the bigger picture and we want to get there now. Um, it's also a, um, a kind of time horizon thing. So I think really far ahead, which but I picture it close, which means that I feel like I'm going slowly, even though I'm probably going about the right pace. Um, and the fact that things are, you know, things that are worth doing take time. And so one of the things that I would say to anyone growing a business is to um, be OK with things going more slowly than you would hope. And in many ways, this goes with um, with today's gift. So with the, today's gift is to um, spend a year doing small things. So we are, um, so we run a WhatsApp Marketing Members Club. It's normally 25 pounds plus VAT per month. And you can get a year's worth of membership for the equivalent of just 10 pounds per month. Um, so if you go to watertightmarketing.com forward slash 10 years, um, you can sign up for a year of um, our Members Club membership, which includes a monthly live webinar with me. All of the details are on the page. I won't go into huge detail, other than to say that each month we set you a challenge and you do it. Um, and it's a year. So this is what I mean about going slow and um, sometimes I think making a, a longer term commitment and taking your time over things means that those things are better I'll give you a few examples so the water type marketing book um, I talked about for four years before I put words on a page um, and then when I came to write it, so well, the, the, one of the interesting things about me and maybe it's not just me maybe it's lots of people is that I um, I'll gestate and gestate and gestate. Um, funnily enough, I was pregnant when I wrote the book. So I kind of, um, I grow the idea in the back of my mind and then I come to do it and it, and it goes pretty pretty quickly. So I talked about the book for about four years um, and then I wrote the uh, main body of the manuscript, um, full manuscript, in about four months. And then I put it down because I gave birth. So I was forced to put it down. There was something else to pick up. Um, so I literally put it down six months, didn't look at it again. Um, and I came back to it with fresher eyes. And that, that break, which I hadn't planned, I'd hoped to finish the book before, um, before giving birth, um, made the book so much better. So taking time and, and uh, in, in that circumstance being forced to take time made it a much better product. Um, I, uh, I would also say that... Um, so the master plan program, again, I've, uh, I've tinkered with it, tinkered with it, tinkered with it. And then I did a couple of months where I really um, pulled things together. Um, the software um, that we're creating at the moment, I have been talking about that di diagnostic tool. As any of the WaterStack marketing expert community will tell you, I've been talking about that for four or five years. I think four years is my timeline. I, I kind of uh, often think about things for about four years and then they go, boom, out of my head, onto paper, gone. Um, so, and they're better. They're better. 
than if I'd done them straight away. They're better than if I'd done them in a hurry. And I think the other reason why people um, often feel frustrated is that we compare ourselves to others. And I think we compare ourselves to people who've just broken ground whilst we're still building foundations. And so we're comparing, our, we're, we're not comparing like with like. So if you're building a skyscraper, which you know I I am. Um, Waterstone Marketing is is, um, is a project of work for a for a business and a movement that will be huge, and therefore it needs really deep foundations, and they take time to build. And so some uh, you know we're we're just surfacing, we're just surfacing, and it's taken time to to build those foundations. And if you compare yourself to someone who's broken ground or someone who's you know um, fully built when you're in foundation phase. Um, then you're going to think you're going slowly, you're going to compare yourself unfairly, um, and you may take your eye off the ball in terms of um, building those firm foundations. So taking the time to build really strong foundations will allow you to grow bigger, better, more stable. Um, so, you know, a, a slow race is a stable race, if that makes sense. It's more sustainable. Uh, what other examples? So software is a classic example. Oh, the conference is an example. So the September conference, we're doing a two-day conference, and um, you know, I, I could have I, I could have put a conference on every year for the last ten years if I'd wanted to, but we wouldn't have been ready. We wouldn't have been ready. There's no way that um, if I had done this any other year but now, um, that we could have opened ticket sales with half the room already sold because it's taken time to build up the database, to build up the community, to build up the credentials, the goodwill, that means that we can um, back ourselves in the way that I talked about um, to put the money down to, to trust ourselves to, to gather enough people to put on a brilliant conference like that. And so um, if you're in your first year of business and you come along to the Wall Street conference to go, yeah, I'm going to do one of these um, and you do it in your in your first year, um, it's highly likely that it won't be as big a success for you as um, as if you had waited a little bit and you know there are exceptions there are other people who do things at pace and that's their way um, but I would definitely call myself um, a bit of a business tortoise so after 10 years the, the young lady who said I was a fa fantastic overnight success I just thought that was glorious um, because that is in many ways the truth isn't it that uh, the people that we see as an overnight success have been um, you know really have been working away at it for years so someone like <clears throat> someone like Brené Brown if you don't know Brené Brown go and check her out um, her TEDx she did a TEDx talk in in Houston, in Houston um, but she had been working on her her shame and resilience research for years it wasn't like she came up with the idea did a TEDx and suddenly the world and uh, suddenly the world noticed her she had been working on that research for years um, Simon Sinek is the same yes his TED talk was a serious breakthrough but you don't just get a TED talk um, from nowhere he had been working on that for years um, and so if you're if you're comparing yourself to people who've already broken ground when you are in foundation um, then you might be tempted to uh, to do something big and loud before you've got the stability um, to sustain it and so one of the things that I'm um, that I, I kind of one of my practices is to remember that going slow means building sustainability and stability um, doesn't mean that I'm not sometimes um, frustrated or suffer from comparisonitis when I'm comparing myself to the hairs overtaking me seemingly overtaking me on the outside and um, I'm just stick to my own path and do it one step at a time um, so I invite you to do the same I invite you to do the same with your marketing um, and if you would like our support with that we'd love to help you in the water type marketing members club um, and it's a classic kind of tortoise investment it's um, one one tutorial each month um, doing a, a, a challenge checking in with me for a live um, a live webinar every month um, rather than biting off something like our master plan program which is massive you know massive investment of time and um, this is a kind of a, a one step each month um, and if you would like to join us on that you're very very warmly invited um, into into my world of being a business tortoise um, to join our members club for a year for the equivalent of 10 pounds a month if you go to watertightmarketing.com forward slash 10 years you'll find all the details there
We would um, also absolutely love to invite you along to our Confidence and Clarity workshop in September. Um, I will be talking more about this. I'll be talking about sustainability and long-term plans, and I'll be encouraging you very much to embrace your editorial choice and do those things one step at a time. Um, and I would like to invite you to put midday tomorrow in your diary. Midday tomorrow, I will be um, giving you the very kind of last lesson um, from my 10 years of entrepreneurial learning and the biggest gift in our 10 year promotion. It's a phenomenal gift. Um, we've put a nominal value on it of two and a half grand, but I'm probably under undervaluing that um, because I've been thinking of a few things I might also throw in with it, which I'm quite excited about. So put um, midday tomorrow in your diary for the final one of these videos for the final gift in our 10 year promotion. And if you haven't yet put the 14th and 15th of September um, in your diary, do because um, you can certainly, you absolutely Absolutely join us at the conference but we'll be doing lots in uh, our, um, our Facebook group and on the page here that you'll be able to join in with as well so put the 14th and 15th of September in your diary for more lessons from me from the watertight community um, and from those in the community who are using the tools to power their own learning lots of love from me I will see you tomorrow bye